Hey everybody, it's Jen. Uh, so yeah, today I kind of wanted to talk about um, my experience in Jamaica on vacation, um, having a full-blown anxiety attack <laughs> while I'm in Jamaica where I'm supposed to be having the time of my life and I ended up having an anxiety attack for no particular reason. Um, and I just wanted to share this because this is something that I go through a lot of times on vacation. It's really hard and it really makes me mad actually that I am having these issues on vacation when I'm supposed to be having fun. And that's one of the struggles with people living with chronic anxiety is that you never know when it's going to happen and you can't control it. It's not something that people can control. We can't control when we have anxiety attacks or when we have, you know, an anxiety episode it's completely out of our control. And I wish they would really do more research into why, um, you know, people have anxiety attacks for no reason sometimes, because it's really just the person having it, you know, it's like, they're not happy about it either. Like it's very angering because, you know, you don't want to live like that, but anyway, so I'm going to talk about my experience in Jamaica. So it was, November 2019, me and my roommate at the time decided to go to Negril, Jamaica uh, for a trip. And everything was great. We got there. Even the plane ride. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Even the plane ride, you know, wasn't that terrible for me. It was probably because I had someone on there with me. When I'm flying alone, I get really scared. Like I freak out. Like I hate flying. So um, everything was good. We got there. We were there for about like three days and everything was cool. And then it was at nighttime and my roommate was sleeping and I just started, my legs started shaking and I was like, why, you know, why is this happening? I don't understand what's going on. And then I started, you know, having like short of breath that was, was like, and, and that's when I realized, okay, I'm having an anxiety attack. Great. On vacation. Um, with me now for how long I've had anxiety, I'm able to identify what it is. A lot of people who, you know, are new to anxiety or haven't had it for that long. It's hard for them to understand what's going on. So I'm thankful, you know, that I can actually understand what's going on and I know what it is, but that doesn't make it better. So, you know, I was like, okay, great. And my roommate's sleeping. So I'm going to have to deal with this on my own. So I just sat up in the bed, did some breathing exercises. Um, they didn't help because then like my legs started trembling again and I started like sweating and I was like, why am I having this anxiety attack? And the only thing I could think of that would have triggered it was, um, like I, I got a mosquito bite in Jamaica. Right. And I was, and I'm vaccinated for, you know, most pretty much everything. Um, and I, I also have health anxiety, as I told you guys before. So like the mosquito bite probably triggered it because I was like, oh my God, like I got a mosquito bite in Jamaica. What if I have freaking dang fever? What if I have something like this? And then it just all started snowballing. And then that night it just finally just culminated into a full blown panic attack. And, um, so I was sitting in the bed and I was looking at my roommate and I was like, I don't want to wake her up, but I kind of do want to wake her up because she, my roommate at the time who will remain nameless for her privacy, she also suffers from anxiety and a couple other things. And so I knew she would understand, um, because, you know, we could empathize and go through it together. And so I ended up waking her up. I felt super bad. I apologized all the time. She was like, no, it's fine. So I said, can we please take a walk on the beach? Because I feel like I need to get out of the room. I need to walk around to get my mind off of what's going on. She said, yeah. So freaking like three in the morning or something. I don't remember two, three in the morning. We were walking on this beach in Jamaica, you know, which probably wasn't a good idea. Like two females walking on the beach in Jamaica at night, but we didn't go too far, but, um, we were just walking on the beach and she's like, you feel okay now you good. I'm like, uh, like I wasn't sure. Like my legs were still shaking and walking on the beach was the only thing that I could do to kind of take my mind off of what was happening and try to, you know, calmed myself down and we sat down on a chair on the beach and then I started to feel a little better we walked back to the hotel room um she went back to sleep and I tried to go back to sleep but 
like probably 30 minutes later, my legs started shaking again. I was like, oh my God, like what is going on? And at that point, I felt like something was physically wrong with me. And this is what anxiety can do to you too. It can make you feel like you're getting sick. It can make you feel, it can literally physically do things to your body to the point where it can give you, it can make you like throw up and nothing's wrong with you. It's just the anxiety. And so I sat up in the bed. I was like, I am not (laughs) going to wake her up again, but I'm also not going to let this overtake me. So I sat up, I did breathing exercises again. I watched the TV. I kept the TV on for most of the night. Um, I ended up, you know, there were some physical symptoms that happened. I'm not going to go into them because it's gross. Um, (laughs) but, and then I, uh, I went back to bed. I finally fell asleep. My legs started calming down and I finally fell asleep around like five in the morning or something. And like, woke up at like 10. So I really only got five hours of sleep and, um, it was just, it was horrible. And I would not wish that on anyone, especially on vacation. It's like, dude, I'm in Jamaica in paradise. Like, why am I freaking out? Why am I having anxiety? And that's the thing you like with anxiety, you can't control it. And a lot of people bully people who have anxiety and other mental health, you know, things that they deal with. And it's not something that you should just tell someone get over or, you know, go get help for it, blah, blah. You think people don't like, you think people don't get help for this. They do, but it's something that is very difficult because you can try your best to talk yourself out of it and be like, it's just my brain, like messing with me. It's just, you know, the, the psychology of it. Um, but it feels real. And when you're having anxiety attacks, it manifests physically. And that's the hard part. Um, and if you're someone like me who has general anxiety and health anxiety, it's like a double-edged sword because when you have anxiety, it causes physical symptoms. And then if you're a person with health anxiety, with that general anxiety, then you go down the rabbit hole thinking, Oh, something's wrong with me when it's actually just your anxiety that's causing those symptoms. So it's really hard. And people I'm going to say this for all the people watching, there's probably no one watching, (laughs) but if you are, and you have anxiety, you're strong, you're stronger than a lot of people, people with mental health, uh, issues and, and anxiety, bipolar, like anything like that. If you push through it, you're stronger than a lot of people out there. You are. And people need to understand that people with, you know, this stuff going on, they're stronger than a lot of people because they're able to push through it and get through it. And, um, I, I'm, I'm in my early thirties. And at this point in my life, I've kind of just been self-managing it the whole time because I don't believe in, I don't believe in like prescription medication unless you really, really, really need it to live your life. Like unless something is so debilitating that you can't work or it's, it's ruining your whole life, then, you know, that's when I would probably say, you know, talk to somebody about getting on some medication. But for me personally, it doesn't ruin my whole life, but it makes things harder when it flares up. Um, So yeah, on vacation, like it's just horrible. And I love traveling. Like that's the whole point of my channel and my Instagram and everything. Like I love traveling, but it's so hard when you have chronic anxiety to travel because then you're in a foreign land and you don't know like the layout. You don't know, you know, where to go if you need to get help for something. And it's just, that was also a part of why the anxiety in Jamaica was so terrible was because I was like, I can't go to a hospital here. I don't know where it is. Like, I don't want to go here. Like I don't have, I didn't have travel insurance at the time, which was so stupid. If you're traveling, get travel insurance, please, because (laughs) it's so stupid to not have it. But, um, yeah, I didn't have travel insurance for that trip. And I was like, I can't like, I'm not going to die here. Like I'm not going to do this. And, uh, so it's just really tough. And, anyone out there who's listening, who understands or who goes through the same thing I do sound off in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Um, you know, I'm probably talking into a black hole <laughs> right now. Cause my channel is still kind of new. Um, but 
you know, when you're on vacation, I think a lot of th- a lot of times you just need to remember that if you have anxiety and you're on vacation, that the anxiety isn't real, it'll go away, that, you know, you're safe, there's nothing wrong, you know, if you're with somebody on vacation, and so like, I usually, I always travel with at least one travel buddy. Um, I rarely do solo trips pro- because of my anxiety, um, but when I do, <clears throat> I make sure that, you know, I go to a place where I've either been before or, um, you know, I know some people from my travels previously. Um, I travel a lot. I like traveling internationally. I don't like traveling domestically because I think, you know, <laughs> your home country is, pro- is pretty much boring. I mean, you know, you've been there, done that. Um, but yeah, just if you have anxiety and you like traveling like I do, just remember that you're not alone. There's a lot of people out there who deal with it and who travel with anxiety. And if you're on vacation and you ever have an anxiety attack, like I did (laughs) just, um, try to distract yourself and know that it'll pass. It's not going to be there forever. Uh, and you can do it. Thanks guys. I'll see you next time.